What's up homies? I am ZOTV here. Welcome to another video. In today's video, i-install na natin ang stock room ng ating Galaxy X5 which is Android Lollipop yung gagamitin natin. Don't worry, walang problem sa lineage OS na in-install ko. Kaya ko lang gagawin to ay pibenta ko yung phone for additional funds para sa new project. Disclaimer, uh, do it under your own risk. Yung stock room nasa description kung saan siya pwede ma-download. Check nyo maigi yung model na ito-download nyo kung compatible ba siya sa device nyo. If you watch my previous video on how to install TWRP, so once na nag-install kayo ng stock room, mawawala ito. Again, yung procedure na nagawin ko ay from TWRP installed with custom ROM, which is Lineage OS, to stock room Galaxy S5. So without further ado, let's get started. First, lead natin ngayon is to enter TWRP mode. Just press volume up, home, and power. Once nasa TWRP na kayo, just swipe to all the modifications. Then select wipe and choose or check the following. Dell Big Art Cache, System, Post Cache. Then on your lower right, just swipe to wipe, continue. After nyo gawin yan, turn off your device. Before we proceed to our next step, ito yung site kung saan nyo pwede ma-download yung stock firmware na sinasabi ko. Again, yung link nasa description. Make sure lang na tama yung model na i-download nyo para hindi kayo magkaroon ng problem na pan-installing. Siyempre, nandiyan lahat ng country. So, just choose which countries kung saan manggaling yung phone nyo. And, siyempre, gagamitin natin is sa Philippines. Then, open lang itong phone ko. Ito yung download ko. Kung sa tingin nyo, carrier nyo, smart or globe siya nakalock, yun yung gagamitin nyo. So, once na-download nyo siya, Uh, i-redirect kayo to another page so scroll down nyo lang makikita nyo yung down download here, click nyo lang ulit yun para mag download once matapos na mag download let's proceed to our next step which is to install the stock room again before that we need to enter download mode para punta sa download mode just press volume down home power then press the volume button to continue After that, connect nyo yung device nyo sa PC nyo and run Odin. Once na-open nyo na yung Odin app, make sure your device is detected. Makikita nyo yun sa left side, may nakalagay doon, add device. Then, sa right side naman, meron doon yung AP, check nyo lang yung text box doon. Then, load nyo na yung stock room na na-download nyo. Kapag nakita nyo na yung leave CS sa left side, pwede nyo siya start yung process by clicking yung start na nasa baba. Until yung matapos yung process, makita sa upper left yung pass or fail yung procedure. So yan, mabilis lang naman yung ano, procedure and tanyo naman nagpass yung ginawa rin procedure. Isa na lang need natin gawin at antayin yung mag-load yung mga apps. So check natin kung mag-work ba yung ginawa natin. Then remove nyo yung cable once na matapos yung process. Magre-restart yung device nyo automatically. And ayan, medyo matagal lang yung loading ng apps after nyo mag-restart.
So, ito na yung setup natin. I-skip-skip na natin para mabilis. So, ayan. Kita nyo naman. Mabilis lang yung paano mag-install ng stock firmware from Lineage OS. Nakakamiss gumamit kapag stock din, syempre. Ayan. So, ganun lang guys ang pag-install ng stock custom firmware. Mm, thanks for watching. See you again on my next. See you again on my next video. Lagi ko sinasabi, be safe, God bless, peace.